Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That sounded like shit. <laughs> Okay, so for today's video, why are we clapping? I don't know. So for today's video, I am doing a tutorial on this eyeball look that I'm wearing on my eyeballs. Duh. So this is a look that I created using the... Da -da -da -da! This guy right here. Let me show you what she looks like, just like we did on the other one. Ah! Isn't it beautiful? This is the Morphe 3502 palette. Um, I got this palette because I love the Morphe 35 oh so much and whenever they came out with the two I thought I gotta have you two. Yeah makes sense totally. So this look that I have created is super easy and simple to recreate yourself. I mean I think I did this look in 10 minutes literally. I did one eyeball first figure out what the hell I was doing just like I did the last time and then whenever I came back to recreating it on this side 10 minutes. Nothing. Literally nothing. It is so simple and so easy. Just like all my other smoky eyes, the key is to blend, blend, blend. I love it. I think it is gorgeous. And if you think it's gorgeous, then just stay tuned for the tutorial to learn how to make your eyeballs gorgeous too. All right, let's have the eyeball beautification process begin. So here's the Morphe 3502 palette. But to start off, we're not actually going to use that one. I need to use this transition shade right there in this Naked 2 Basics palette because the Morphe palette does not really have a transition like all over lid color that I really want. So I'm just quickly taking that all over the lid just to give myself a nice even colored base. So here I'm going in with this light orange color and I'm going to use that as my transition. I don't need to kind of be super precise with it but I just want to make sure that it can be seen as a nice gradient here um, in the end whenever everything else and all these bright colors are being used. So here we're going in with this dark brown and I'm focusing it mainly in the outer corner but also taking it into the crease as well. And you're going to notice it's just going to get darker and darker and darker because I took my time blending and adding more pigment to get the color that I wanted. So this will be kind of the darker... Whoa. Hi. Hey! <laughs> uh, so this is going to end up being the darker corner of our shadow. So now going in with this red shade, I'm using kind of like a packing brush to place it here in the center of my lid. I keep adding more pigment or pigment because it just wasn't giving me the color that I wanted, so I just build it and build it and build it to basically get the bright red that I wanted. Then I'm going back in with that same brown without adding any more color to the brush, just using what's on it to help blend those colors together. Now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing with a different brush with the orange. You see me putting it here in the inner kind of eyelid area, not the inner corner, but the inner lid area. And I'm going to do the same thing, kind of create this gradient from orange to red to brown to create this beautiful Sun esque look. So just taking my time to make sure everything's blended and there's no harsh lines between any of the colors. So now I'm going in with this bright, it's a sparkly type red color because I didn't think the red was popping enough. So I'm just going in with even a smaller brush, a little bit more precise to pack that red exactly where I wanted it. And then I'm actually going in to do the same thing with the orange. There is a sparkly orange color. Then I'm going back in with my uh, original fluffy brush to kind of blend everything together, make sure it's nice and seamless. And so as you saw there, I pointed out that I am using all of those exact colors on the underneath of my eye, not going too crazy with the pigment, but just enough so that it kind of matches um, the top of my lid as well. And then just going to blend it all out so it looks nice and seamless. Now going back into that naked palette, I'm going to grab that same first color that we used to kind of highlight my brow bone area because it definitely needed a little bit of a pop. And I'm going to be putting that same color on the um, inner lid as well. So I just wanted to make sure that these areas were nice and highlighted and beautiful. Next we're going in with this Ico liquid eyeliner, going to give myself a nice wing, going in with mascara before I apply these beautiful wispy false lashes. Then I'm using this Lottie London AM to PM liner to line my waterline and this MAC um, like nude liner to line my lower waterline. Then I decided that the outer corners just were not dark enough. So I took this tiny pencil brush and added some black in there just to kind of make it look a little bit more sultry and a little darker. And then once I get all these colors, get the darkness to my liking, that's pretty much it. I know it sounds like a lot of information, but y'all, this look is not that hard. So just follow these steps and you can have your eyeballs and your dreams too. So keep paying attention, watch me blend, and that's all y'all. Enjoy. See you in the outro.
So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it as easy as I tried to make it be. What? I don't know. It was easy, right? Yeah, totally. Because I'm, like, so good at explaining how to do things. You guys totally understood what to do. I know. I know. It's, yeah. You're welcome. So before you go and uh, run around town and show off your brand new eyeballs to everybody that you see, because they are so beautiful and it was so easy to recreate, subscribe to my channel. Hell, tell the other people that you meet out in the town. Hey, I learned this from Morgan. It was pretty easy. You should check her out, too. Why don't you subscribe? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like I've said at least four times now. Don't forget to click that notification bell right beside it so you get notified every single time that I upload. Otherwise you won't, and then I'll be pissed, and then I'll be sad, and then I'm just going to be over here by myself. All over here by myself in my little YouTube world. I'll be sure to link the rest of my social medias down below. I'm a lot more active on those. Sorry if that's annoying, but I don't care. Be my friend anyway. That's about it for this one, guys. I tried to keep it super short and sweet because I hate a super long tutorial, and I know I get bored, so you'd probably get bored too. Like I said, that's it. I'm going to run away now. You guys have yourself a great evening. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.